Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable patchwork hearts. So we're going to get started by taking a chalk pencil and lining out a nice heart on this stone and kind of use the shape of your rock. It doesn't have to be a perfect heart, it could be a little bit uneven. Next I'm going to base coat the heart with the Liquitex Gesso. This is just to help with grip for the colored paint because these Mexican beach pebbles are very slick so this gives a little bit of grip for the colored paint as well as helps the colored paint be more vibrant. It took me a while to decide what color I wanted to make this heart but I wanted a nice bright purple so I'm gonna go with this Concord grape and then when I shook it up I realized that it felt a little watery and sure enough it's getting old and a little watery which means the coverage isn't as good. Still usable but it requires more coats of paint as you can see here. And all the more reason that I used that Liquitex gesso because if I didn't it would have been even harder to get a nice solid purple. Now that I've got a nice solid purple color, I'm going to take this Thule Art acrylic paint pen. It's out of the neon paint set, but it actually is kind of a pastel um, lavender color. And I'm just going to draw a simple square and then fill it in. You could also do this part with a brush and acrylic paints, but I just chose the pens because I liked the color combination and I like the control of being able to hold the pen and make a good square. The second patch is going to be with this light blue Thule Art paint pen and I'm going to make it in a different direction and kind of underneath the lavender patch so it has that patchwork look. So just drawing another square, could even be a rectangle, they don't have to be perfect. That's kind of the appeal of this design is it doesn't have to be perfect. And then just fill that in as well. take my Posca PC1MR black paint pen and I'm going to outline the entire design so all the way around the heart and then around both patches and this is to just create some nice definition and give the design more shape and make it pop. Now that I've got that outline on there, I'm going to start adding the stitches by adding little lines around the patches first, and these don't have to be perfect either. Having them run kind of in different directions and a little misshapen makes them look real. It gives that nice patchwork stitching look. So first around the patches, and then I'm going to go around the entire outline of the design. Now as another example, I'm going to take this other heart that I primed and I'm going to add some patterns like patterned fabric. So I'm going to add some white polka dots to the background heart and then on one of the patches I'm going to add some purple stripes and on the other patch I'm going to add some gray hearts. So this just kind of mimics having patterned fabric sewn together. Don't forget to tell me in the comments which one you like best. I purposely did this design around Mother's Day because I feel like it's adaptable for a Mother's Day gift or anything year round. So you could put a patch that says mom, you could put a patch and write I love you on it and then put the little stitching and it would look really cute. We know that resin will darken the natural color of the stone really dark and so I want to prevent that so that the stitching still shows up. So I'm going to add a coat of Mod Podge 
over the top of both of these rocks so that that natural part of the stone that's showing doesn't get too dark when I put the resin on. Just to be clear, this is not what I'm sealing with. It's just something I'm putting on to keep the stone's natural color when I put the resin on. And look how cute these came out. I also have a third stone here where I use the shape of the rock and put three hearts on there as another idea for you. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future uploads. Click on the screen or in the link in the description to watch another fun video. Thanks for stopping by to watch and I'll see you next time. Take care.